strangest talents people possess. We all have our quirks and unique things that we can do. Here are some of the weirdest ones out there. Number 21, never sleeping. We all know that workaholic friend that claims they can live off to little or no sleep. While more often than not, this statement really is more of an exaggeration. There is at least one person in this world who doesn't seem to need it, Thai Nok. The 76-year-old farmer from Vietnam experienced an extremely high fever back in 1973. He claims that since then, he has not slept. That means tens of thousands of nights never getting any shut-eye. Some scientists say he might experience micro-sleep, which are naps that your brain takes for just a few seconds, which explains how he stayed alive that long without getting any sleep. Number 20. Seeing Colors Most people perceive colors more or less the same way. However, when it comes to synesthes, they can see letters and numbers in different colors at the same time. Synesthesia occurs when one sensory pathway gets stimulated in a way that turns into an involuntary perception. People with synesthesia usually get constantly distracted from all of the cognitive stimulation. One of the most famous synesthetes includes Elizabeth Salser, a musician who claims that she can see sound waves and colors, as well as experience the way music tastes. Number 19. Riding Bikes Backwards There's a sizable percentage of people out there who can't even ride a bike, or never learned how to. So for people who can, you probably feel rather skilled in comparison. But we bet you you can't ride a bike backwards. Not as fast as a skill, Bronzing Backen can. This Norwegian performance artist can not only bike backwards, he also does so while traveling down the Trollsteigen. This counts as one of the most extreme roads in the world. It zigs and zags in this photo very apparently. Number 18. Living with less oxygen. You might think that living with a bit less oxygen than you usually do doesn't count as a feat, but try living with 40% less oxygen. The people of Tibet have adapted to living on less oxygen. Tibet sits on one of the highest plateaus in the world, a place complete with less oxygen and way more ultraviolet radiation. Their genomes over the years have acclimated to the high altitude, giving the body more vitamin Voltel to deal with the extreme environment. Number 17. Singing with a closed mouth. Look, it's difficult enough for most people to even sing, or at very least sing well. A rare skill includes being able to sing with your mouth closed. Why would you ever want to do that? Who knows? We never claimed that this list would be filled with useful skills, just extremely weird. Musical artist Jessie J has proved in 2015 on a radio show that she can indeed sing with her mouth closed. Number 16. Being Double Jointed in every classroom growing up, there was that one double-jointed kid that liked freaking out all of the other students with their double-jointedness. Being double-jointed means you were genetically gifted with hypermobility, letting your joints stretch either which way further than usual. This includes backward bent knees, reaching your wrist with your thumb, and other contortionist ways to move your body. Number 15. Making your eyebrows dance If you lift one eyebrow, consider yourself more naturally skilled than those who can't. Of course, there are those that can make both eyebrows wiggle and jiggle. That takes a lot of muscle control. With lots of practice and concentration, most others can learn how to make their eyebrows dance. But honestly, who has the time? Number 14. Writing Backwards Have you ever tried reading backwards tests? Lots of people can pass those. What's even more difficult, though, is actually writing backwards. When you read words that are backwards, your brain can recognize the letters at the beginning and end of the word and register the way it's usually spelled. Writing backwards, or mirror writing, was a notable skill of legendary artist Leonardo da Vinci, who wrote many of his notes in this method. Science says that if you can mirror write, your mind organizes language in a unique way. Number 13. Incredibly Fast Pen Spinning Seeing someone spin a pen is confusing for two reasons. One, it seems fairly simple to spin a pen, but two, it doesn't really make sense how exactly it's done. Anyone who's suffered from bouts of an absent mind can attest to doing some sort of small, repetitive movement on some part of their body. Have you ever seen someone spin a pen really fast with their hand, or even flip a coin along their fingers while looking like they're barely thinking about it? It's insane. Number 12. The Best Photographic Memory Humans created planners, alarm clocks, photographs, video, and all the other things on your phone or computer that remind you to do something or preserve the memory of a special moment in your life. People with photographic memory don't need to take a picture of their homework written on the board or look at a picture to be able to recall certain instances. 
One of the most famous people with photographic memory is British architectural artist Stephen Wiltshire. He has amazing photographic memory, so much, that he can remember and draw out entire cityscapes from memory alone. Number 11. Ear Air Somewhere in the Guangxi province of China is a man that can fill balloons with air, using his ear. The balloon filler, Wai Ming Tang, realized that he could blow up balloons with just his ear about three decades ago. He can also blow out 20 candles with his ear alone. The factory worker made an act out of the strange skill by using a pipe into his ear with the other end attached to a balloon. We wonder, can he sneeze through his ear too? Number 10. X-Ray Vision Superman isn't the only one that can see through walls or people's bodies. In real life, we have Natalia Demkina, whose skill of being able to see through people's bodies was recognized at a very young age. When news spread that a teenage girl could be able to give accurate x-ray readings with her eyes only, doctors around the world decided to put her talent to the test, with mixed conclusions from the results. Number 9. Moving eyes in different directions If you don't have a condition called strabismus, then you do not possess the ability to move your eyes in different directions. You just can't because there's only one visual focal point in the human body, and both your eyes are attached to it. Some try to train their eyes to look in different directions, and if you can achieve it, that means that there's some sort of misaligned eye or muscle tissue that's loose enough to let you do so. Number 8. Talking Backwards Reading backwards is one thing, writing backwards is another. Talking backwards, well, that's just on a different level. Back in 2012, a teenage girl named Alyssa Kramer made headlines after it was made apparent that she could talk backwards. Now if you practice, you could probably figure out how to do it yourself. What was so fascinating about Kramer was that she could do so effortlessly without seeming to have to think about it. Number 7. A loud applause At a concert or some sort of show, you've heard how loud it gets when all those people clap at once. Imagine something as loud as that except it just came from one person's pair of hands and you've got yourself Zan Quan. This man's clap was recorded to be about 107 decibels, about the same volume as a helicopter. It was so disruptive that he could get into some serious trouble with authorities for noise pollution. Number 6. Tying a cherry stem knot with only your tongue It seems like a novelty to be able to tie a cherry stem with your tongue. Possible. If you really try, then yeah, of course it is. There's really no use for doing this other than it being a neat little party trick to impress people. Tying a knot with your mouth can take a few minutes to achieve, with the fastest time ever being 14 cherry knots in a little over a minute, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Number 5. Ears Pulling Jets He can pull a bus with the strength of just his hair, but later he proved he can go even further than that. His name is Manjit Sai, and at the age of 57, his ears proved stronger than a lot of people's whole bodies. The feat took place at East Midlands Airport in England, with the jet stream plane weighing in at about 7,400 kilograms, a weight of which Psy carried for about 12 feet, or 3.4 meters. Number 4. Tear Calligraphy Similar to water calligraphy, it seems you don't need black ink to make your script art. Instead of using a brush or some regular old water, a man from Luyang, China, named Rua Ting, proved he can use just his tears. First of all, he snorts water up through his nose to be able to spray it through his tear ducts and onto the paper. That doesn't sound so pleasant. It all started when he was swimming in the river as a kid and realized he could shoot water through his eyes. What a way to find out your talents. Number 3. Never Tired Muscles The ability to have muscles that never get tired sounds more like a superpower than a random skill. And it is a superpower that Dean Carnage possesses himself. Born with incredible endurance, Carnes became an ultra-marathon runner, because of course. His record reached a run of 350 miles, or 560 kilometers, in the amount of 80 hours and 44 minutes, all without sleep. He started running when he was only 5 years old, and has been running ever since. Because of his lack of lactic buildup, his body could go on forever. Number 2. Lifting Weights With Your Eye Bags At the age of 42 years old, back in 2012, a man named Wang Jingzhong showed the world that he could lift five pounds worth of buckets of water with his bottom eyelids. He kept them up for an entire minute, a sight of which could make people squirm in their seats. He made fireworks for a living before his eye bag strength fame. After lifting buckets at a show for a festival, he also commented that one day he liked to be able to lift 11 pounds of weight for each eye bag. Number 1. The Woman That Feels No Fear Is that the name of a comic book? 
Maybe. Not that we know of, but for certain it's a title given to the woman that goes by the initials SM, and she wishes to remain anonymous. Patient SM046 was studied in 1994. The deterioration of her bilateral amygdala, the part of your brain that lets you experience fear, had been apparently shut down since her childhood. Would that be considered a superpower or something lacking in our Darwinistic instincts? Do you possess any of these talents? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you don't, which ones would you want? If you like our videos, like this one, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay unique.